Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 10 of the Adobe Animate tutorial series. Today we're going to look at how to snap objects in Adobe Animate. So over here, now let me create a simple shape. Let me double click this and convert this into a, a movie clip symbol just like this. And then now what happens is that I can move this shape freely just like that. And it's because I have enabled snapping. So if I were to enable snapping, I'm just going to go to view and then in the uh guides i'm going to uh let's say so guides right here just enable the ruler click and drag just like this and now what happens is that nothing happens you do not see the snap happening anywhere but if i were to turn on the snap it'll actually if i were to drag this uh, shape right here it'll actually snap on to the right place so i'm just going to go to view and in the snapping i'm just gonna say uh snap to grid all right so i'm going to go to guides and enable snapping over here in the guides the snap to guides is there and snap accuracy is uh must be closed and press ok and now what happens is that it will actually snap on so if i were to click and drag some point right there you can see that it actually snaps on to the grid itself and it will actually uh, stay on the alignment just like that. If I were to draw something over here, click and drag, you can see that it actually snaps on to the point like that. Click and drag, you can see that it will actually stop over here uh, for a proper alignment. So if you were to click and drag the guides just like this, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. And if I want to make a shape, just click and drag and you can see the snapping happens quite well. And it will only draw on that section over there. So if you want to uh, enable snapping, you can also enable it uh, in the grid view. So usually in the grid, I can show grid and you can see that I can easily uh, create a snapped objects right here. So if I want to make a triangle, I can take pin tools like this and then just click and drag to create a perfect like shape. All right. So snapping. So I guess the snapping is not enabled here. So I'm just going to delete this out and I'm going to go to view and then I'm going to go to um, uh, disable show guides right here and in um, view in the grid I'm going to go to the grid and then I'm going to say 40 pixel right here and 40 pixel right there and then in the view and the grid uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable snap to grid as well so I'm just going to click the pen tool click this uh, click this, click this, and click this, and you can see that it actually stays on the point itself, and I can create uh, easily. So I can click and create an easy curve. We're going to learn about the pen tool in further lessons. It is quite similar to the pen tool that you use in Illustrator. So this is how you can snap to grids. So you can create different shapes, as you can see, and then it'll actually help you to create uh, defined shapes like these. So I'm just going to go to grid. And then I'm going to go to a grid and disable the show grid. I can, and you can see that I have a very uh, properly arranged shape right there. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.